The best time to start a YouTube channel was five years ago. The second best time is right now. This is your sign to go all in on YouTube and trust me, if you don't do it, you'll regret it for years to come. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe even on your deathbed, you'll be thinking, oh, if only I had gone all in on YouTube. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is the best time to start a channel or go all in with your existing one, which is also the exact reason why I made this new channel a month ago. I'm sure you've already thought about how much YouTube could change your life. Imagine not having to work a job you don't want to have. Imagine traveling the world, giving back to your parents. You already know how much your life would change if you were to go all in. But is this all just a dream or is there actual logic behind starting a YouTube channel right now or going all in? Even though we're not locked in our homes like a few years ago, YouTube's advertising revenue has been rising and rising. And even though everyone you know is already on YouTube, the user count is also rising. In 2020, it was estimated that around 22, thousand YouTubers hit their 1 million subscriber mark. And now in 2024, it's doubled to 55,000 channels. This means that there are more and more new YouTubers hitting their dream milestones every single day. People always say YouTube is oversaturated, but the reality is it's not. Not yet, anyway. Nearly 30% of children ages 8 to 12 want to become YouTubers, and almost half of teenagers ages 13 through 18 aspire to become social media influencers. For the boys, this mostly starts with wanting to become a gaming creator. Well, y you know, I've been there. And I think gaming channels are a good chance to learn the basics of YouTube, because you don't have to worry about recording and... Uh, bad lighting and, you know, cleaning up your set before you start recording. <clears throat> So you can focus on improving one thing at a time and it's much easier that way. A month ago, however, I stopped both of my gaming channels though. Because I realized that it's not something that I would want to do like years in the future. And there should always be a second reason to why you do YouTube other than money. Which can really be whatever you want. But go all in. A common misconception is, oh I have time. There are people who think, oh I don't need to go all in now because I've got school and oh I've got this exam coming up and I don't... I don't even know how to edit, so I can't go all in now. If that's how you think, then you'll be left behind fast. You really need to change that. As I read you earlier, there's a whole generation of people trying to become YouTubers, and either they do, or you do. And the difference between those who want to become YouTubers, and those who are YouTubers, is really just the commitment. It's actually doing the work required. It's not sleeping in on weekends to edit a video. It's learning daily from books, courses, tutorials, and then implementing what you learned. Watching motivational videos for hours on end is not a productive use of your time. And you know that, but I assume there's a problem, which is that you feel unsure about what to do, and that success on YouTube isn't guaranteed. I mean, what if you waste all that time, right? Let me ask you this though, what if it was guaranteed? What then? Would you go all in? Because honestly, it is guaranteed. Imagine this. Starting today, you get your life together, and for the next two years, you wake up every day at the same time, learn about YouTube and business, work on a new video, and use your leftover time to experience life instead of scrolling shorts. If you did those four things for two years, wouldn't it be unreasonable for you not to be successful on YouTube? If you really dedicate a year or two to YouTube, the chances of not seeing results... I don't know, they, they just don't exist. <laughs> If you half asked it though, sure, you can waste many years. I know that I've done it. I started YouTube when I was 11 and for about 5 years I didn't get any progress in. I was sitting at around 120 subs max. Then at 16, 17, I decided to take everything a bit more seriously. I made these two Minecraft channels and grew them both pretty quickly, making some first money on YouTube. At 18, I then started doing thumbnail design and video editing for other YouTubers, while still maintaining the Minecraft channels. And a few days before turning 19, I made the big decision to start all over again. But this time, go all in. For the past month, I've been relentless at learning about YouTube, business and mindset and implementing all of the things that I learned. By the way, literally yesterday I had the first of my five big exams before going to uni like later this year. Did I study? Yeah. But did it stop me from making videos? Hell no! And you'll see where my channel is at in one or two years time. Now you can either join me and go all in on YouTube as well, or you can then look back at my channel and think, oh damn it, if only I had gone all in too. Go all in. Productivity is BS, doing less is more. Think about things that you can cut from your life right now, so you can think more clearly and invest more time into your YouTube channel. For me, this started out with uninstalling Instagram and not watching any shorts anymore. Then I quit my two Minecraft channels and gave ownership of my Minecraft server to another person. And by the way, these things can be very hard to do. I've been working on the Minecraft server for years and we've seen quite a bit of success with almost 6,000 Discord members and over 60 players at any given time. Had to get rid of it though, because otherwise I couldn't focus on this channel. So really, just make a list of things that you're willing to sacrifice for your YouTube channel. Go all in. 
Another thing I started doing was track every 30 minutes of my day for a week to then see what my time was wasted on. Turns out I was on Discord too much and I had unnecessary waiting times that I could have spent, for example, reading books instead of just sitting there listening to music. If you're watching this thinking, oh, but I don't want to live like a robot, then think about what the alternative is. Sleeping until 1pm, staying in bed, scrolling on shorts for a while, oopsie, it's been two hours, then slouch into the kitchen to make yourself some probably not so healthy breakfast, watch some YouTube while eating and feeling like absolute shit. I've done all that and I don't like it. I'd rather live like a robotic day than live my life like that again. And rest is also still important. You can focus on working on something, but still like take time to rest, you know? But the rest shouldn't consist of just scrolling on YouTube, for example. But instead you can go outside, have some kind of adventure, meet up with friends, that kind of stuff. And then later when you're going back to work on your YouTube channel, you'll have a lot more energy to work with. It's really your choice which path to take, but I'll recommend you this, go all in. If you want to go all in now, here's a recap on what you can do. Write down your reasons for why you want to grow a YouTube channel. Write down things you want to achieve in the next two years, one year, six months, and break it down even to this month and this week and today and tomorrow. List things that you can sacrifice for YouTube and then get rid of them. Four, prepare a timetable like this one so that tomorrow you can track every 30 minutes and just kind of see what you've been up to in the day. And then five, think about how you can rest without using your PC, phone or tablet or anything like that. All of these things would be exactly what I would tell myself before I started doing this. And I'm sure we're quite similar to each other, so this should work for you too. Let me know in the comments once you have results, or really just if you decide to go all in now. Because if you want, I can have a look at your channel, maybe give you some feedback, and it'd be fun to know who is along on this journey. I'm not gonna link any video on the end screen now. Do these five things that I mentioned, please. Because, you know, it would be good, but I don't know, if you, if you don't wanna, then don't, I guess.